Hello everybody troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. It is Saturday, girl, how are you? I hope that you're having an amazing day, that you are enjoying, that you are getting ready for tonight because we already have this, this conversation. You are going out tonight, you are getting drunk tonight, so there are no excuses, girl, okay? So, what are you wearing? Let me know in the comments below. I'm. I'm about to go home and change, you know, and then go to party. So if you are going to be, if you're here in LA and you are going to be in West Hollywood, let me know, bitch, because I am about to go out and kicking it out there. Um, guys, I want to welcome every single one of you. If you are new here, welcome to the Beverly Troop where we keep it real and we mention it all. So if you want to know everything that is going on on the Bravoverse, on the reality TV shows, on the pop culture streets, you know what to do. Subscribe, 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 and hit that notification bell, guys. I want to remind you guys that my collaboration with Rose Forever is very much active, okay? You know, and also Liquid IV and Beauty Jew. Those are the three products that I really, really love, and those are the ones that I am partner with. So um, make sure to go check them out. The links for everything are on the description below. There are different discount codes for every single one of them, all right? So make sure to get all of those discounts right now because I mean, you do not want to miss all of these, okay? And um, go um, go and check out my new podcast. Let's talk about this mess on Spotify or anywhere else you get your podcast. All right, guys. It is time to talk about uh, the valley, okay? So yesterday, or like a couple of days ago, I think so, we talk about the rumors that Jax Taylor has been allegedly cheating on Brittany Cartwright, you know? And it was everywhere, you know? And like, like things are not adding up, you know? And like, apparently uh, Jax has been spending a lot of time outside of the house. They have not been seen together in a very long time, you know? And you know how speculation started, you know, going on. And then, the last thing was, you know, Jax posting this very suggestive picture of him with her publicist, which is this gorgeous woman, you know, and people went crazy. Everyone is like, oh, my God, here is Jax Taylor, like cheating again, you know, uh, what is going on? They were like floating Brittany's uh, DMs, you know, saying like, oh, my God, Jax is cheating on you, blah, 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 you know. Um, we talk a little bit about it. I, I, to be very honest with you, I, I didn't see anything wrong with the picture. You know, they were just like together and I mean, they just like this, you know, and taking a picture. Uh, but I understand that Jack Taylor has, uh, history, you know, and a lot of people are just not going to like trust on anything that he has to say. He respond to these allegations, he said that nothing is going on, that he is just traveling a lot for work right now. Um, you know, he says that he, after, especially after everything that happened with Scandal on Vanderpump Rules, that he will never, like, he, he will not do something like this. I love Jack so much, guys. You have no idea. I, I, I honestly, I really love this man. But I know that you know there is a possibility there is always a possibility i want to think i want to think that he is a changed man you know but you never know you know so um i'm gonna leave it like that you know i like i honestly don't believe that he cheated i think that part is fake but i do believe that there was something going on between Brittany and Jax. to which we go to the next part which is Brittany broke her silence, you know, and she decided to kind of like give an explanation, you know, on uh, their podcast about what is going on. And the explanation, guys, to be very honest with you, it left people even more confused because she's not denying some of the allegations, you know, 
she's literally saying that oh i want to talk about this you know um because there are so many allegations going on and she also says like like there is a part of the story that she doesn't want to share because that's not her story to share and then she says something about marriage is marriage is not being uh, is not perfect all the time and uh, that sometimes people need space and that this show the show that we're gonna be seeing was filmed um you know already some time ago and that so many things have been going on you know part of this is also because she and Jax are being um accused of maybe faking this whole relationship situation just to get people to watch the show which will be premiering in a couple uh, weeks you know so um so she's trying to say like there is no PR stunt. Like this is real. That this is that these are their lives. That there, nothing has been planned or anything else, you know. But then she never says that she, that her and Jax are having problems, you know. He alludes to the idea that many of the people that are going to be part of the show are going through many things. And then she talks about that how hard marriage is how sometimes people need space and all of that and it's kind of like why are you addressing this if you are not really saying anything you know what i mean so of course everyone is kind of like being like oh this is just a confirmation you know like this is literally Brittany confirming that something is going on between Jax and Brittany, and they are going through something is it cheating? Is it just another thing? We have no idea, right? But it surprised me that she is taking this step. Because again, you are leaving the door so open without giving any explanation. What do you think is going to happen? People are going to be speculating like crazy, you know? And I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't know what to believe. You know, at this point, it's like they have been together for what? Like married. I think they have been married for three years, probably two or three years. And they are already having these problems. And I, I don't I don't see Brittany because I read I read comments of people saying like, oh, even if Jack cheated, Brittany is going to just stay with him. I don't know if that will be also the case anymore. You know, I think Brittany will not stay with Jax just because they have a kid or just because it's better that way. I think Brittany will actually be like, fuck you, you know, like, <laughs> rotting hell, you know? So, I don't know. I have no idea, but it's very, very weird. Something is going on in the valley, and if it's a PR stunt or not, it's definitely working because I'm going to be watching that shit, you know? Um... But yeah, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think that they are over, that they are taking a time apart, that nothing is wrong? I don't know. Let me know. And if you want to get all the tea related to The Valley or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.